Welcome, well, beautiful people. I am Chef B. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure to say a subscribe down below, y'all. Today, jumping into this video, girl, I told y'all it was Virgo season and we're giving Beyonce Sasha Fierce all September long. So, this curly hair that we'll be working with today is from Najula.com and it is a V part wig. So, what I absolutely love about V part wigs is how versatile they are. Now, I got this wig in 22 inches. I didn't want it too long because I was going for this frame around the face type of situation. So, first things first, I'm going to brush back my edges and I'll get them edges together. With how I'm going to style this wig, my edges really aren't going to be showing. But just in case if the wind blows and I'm gone with the wind, fabulous. Like my edges is slayed. You feel me? So we're just doing a little soup to doop type of action. Nothing serious. And also with my corners, like I'm trying to get this centered because we're going to be doing a middle part. So I need to make sure that everything is aligned. Taking my little comb and make sure to say everything pot and staying right you feel me so after that is done we're just gonna grab our wig now i did not wash this wig honey like i didn't co-wash you can co-wash i'm gonna co-wash it maybe next week because i'm gonna wear this wig again okay i'm gonna wear it for my birthday because i'm really feeling it but anyways so initially i'm looking at the curls i'm like girl the the little loose unkept curls is giving me life right now and i'm gonna stick beside it and i'm gonna love on it so now i'm just gonna fit in my wig so you saw that i put the combs in in the front tuck the combs in at the back make sure that so everything aligned you feel me so we're doing this middle part so i want to make sure that my v is pushed back a bit i don't want it to come all the way on my forehead because i don't want to be looking crazy so the method that we'll be doing with this v part is the crochet method and i did this in my last v part video but if you don't remember i'm going to give you guys like a little you know a quick tutorial on that so what we want to do is when we attach the v part on our cornrows we want to make sure that we have a bit of cornrow still showing in the front to do the crochet because this is vital to making or hiding the wefts rather so we want to make sure that we got that little space but also you don't want it too wide i don't want it wide like i need that to be snug and fit i want it to look like it's actually coming from my scalp you feel me and hiding the weft so we're just going to grab our crochet hook and i'm going to show you like a couple of times how i do this so i go under my little cornrow or a little piece of my corner with the crochet hook and then i grab a piece a little piece of the hair the, the v part here itself not the v part here the curly hair itself and i attach it to the hook and pull through so i do this to cover the knots so i learned this on youtube so it wasn't like my method I created. I saw another video and I'm like, yo, I'm going to try that. So this is my second time trying it and we're going to see how it comes out. So I'm going to keep repeating that process until I get as much of the weft hidden as possible and make sure that everything is nice and tight. So I'm going to repeat it some more so you guys could catch on to this process. So now my whips are hidden or as hidden as I could get it. I'm just going to take my little rat tail comb and tease it. So I want it to be tight. I don't want it to show too much at the front because obviously it's not going to be super perfect unless you try to make it perfect. I ain't got time to do all that. I just need it to be hidden. Okay. As long as it's hidden, I'm good. Now with this type of curly hair, especially since I got it in 22 inches, so it's not quite short and it's not quite long. I need it to frame my face. You're going to play with this hair because initially the hair is not going to look exactly how you need it to look. And I guess that's a problem with a lot of people like, oh, chef, the hair doesn't come out exactly how you get it because you got to fix it to suit you you gotta fix it play with it get it together get it to look like you get it to frame your face you feel me so i'm doing little layers in the front i'm gonna take my little comb my fluffy totes and all these things i recommend you co-wash the hair to get the best looking curls out of it as i said i ain't got the time for all of that so i just went with the the unkept type of curls because i was i was i was feeling it so i'm just gonna shape it up a little bit more to frame my face as best as i can and this is it. This is how she's looking. She is ab, ab, is it absolute? It's absolutely perfect. Like it's absolutely beautiful. I'm loving how it looks against my skin. It's giving birthday hair. Like I feel like I'm definitely going to be wearing this hair for my birthday. Don't quote me on that. I might, I might not. But right now the census is saying she is the winner because she is looking 
girl 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 she is giving Okay, I know I wanted to do a quick wear test for you guys. So it's about a week since I installed this hair and I wore it like two other times. So this is what the hair looks like once it's freshly washed and I let it air dry. So the top is looking a little bit frizzy because I did the crochet method on the V part. So I want to show you guys how to maintain the curls and get it to be defined and popping. So first I just re-wet the hair with some water and then I'm going to go in with this three in one mousse and that is basically it. So I just run my fingers through it instead of of using like a denman brush which will fluff out the hair a bit more and get it to look a little bit more poofy and big i didn't necessarily want that i just wanted the hair to look as defined as possible in its natural state so i'm just going to continue running my fingers through the hair with the mousse on top and just get it to be as defined as i can so the hair is super soft i didn't experience any shedding with this hair which is surprising especially since it's a um blonde ombre hair so no shedding and the hair is super soft now i'm gonna go in with my diffuser so the diffuser is what's gonna maintain the definition of the hair and also get it to be big and pretty and just get the hair all fluffy without it being too overly done so i'm gonna keep doing that motion with the diffuser until i'm satisfied and the front of the hair is dry and then i'm gonna go in with this tresemme serum and this is a light serum as opposed to some other oils that are super heavy especially on blonde hair like it will make it look greasy and weighed down so you want something light and i highly recommend that tresemme serum like it's a god scent all the details for this wig will be in the description box down below don't forget to follow me on instagram snapchat twitter and tiktok at down that's chef if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe down below i'll see you on the next video go on big up in a bye guys